<laughs> All right, in the other room, we actually have a ball python, a rather uh, bland coloration. This is actually a sample from the mouth. Um, I was actually going to send it off to be uh, stained, but some told me this might be an actual pretty good sample to look at. Anyway, you'll notice right there in the center of the slide, there are some small little bubbles that are moving around and swimming against the stream. That is actually Trichomonas or Histomonas. I haven't decided which yet because it's just not smooth very freely. But this snake is so overrun with these parasites that uh, it's actually made its way up through the esophagus or past the stomach the esophagus into the mouth and is now swimming around in there. Anyway, this snake has a very, very foul odor and we are about to uh, do a fecal really soon. So anyway, nastiness, yuck. Later. All right, same ball python in the next room. Uh, we're actually seeing quite a bit of uh, trichomonas and some histomonas, and there's a third type of protozoa in here, rather large circular one, that uh, I'm also seeing. So anyway, um, this girl is overrun in a way that I've never seen before. So I'm gonna go to the clients this, start some treatment, and hope this girl makes it. All right, that's it for now. All right, we can try another higher magnification. There we go. So as you can see there, quite a bit of us moving around. This is 400 times magnification. And lots of that stuff in here. So, protozoal enteritis, stomatitis, and probably even pneumonia. Later. All right. Here is our picture of the ball python in the next room. Very, very pretty coloration, as you can actually see here on the mouth. Um, you can actually see the stomatitis. Do I have my pen? And there she is actually gasping for a little bit of air there. Um, you can actually see inside of her trachea that there's quite a bit of irritation in there as well. Um, and it looks like this eye cap is about to fall off if it's, uh, if it's, I hope it does anyway. If not, we'll address that later on. If we also look back here, we can also see that she's quite irritated at her vent. And that is really, really nasty. Um, that's after I've cleaned it up. Um, so anyway, this is what she looks like as of now. I'm going to have my girls get away if they haven't done that already. Yeah, and, uh, okay. And we will uh, start our treatment. Um, the bad news is because trichomonas does produce certain endotoxins. If you've ever smelled a trichomonas infection, you know that this stuff is nasty. Um, you definitely know what I want to date. <laughs> <laughs> we were just discussing that a minute ago. Anyway, um, <laughs> a man who dresses like this is going to have a sense of humor, so bear with me. Uh, so anyway... We're going to uh, get it started, but anyway, the, the endotoxins that these guys, that, that this bacteria and protozoa stuff will produce is really, really scary. Um, I've had a few cases that didn't make it, and I am really, really worried for this patient, but she's also quite strong, too. So, anyway, I, uh, I'm seeing a very, very active snake here that if I could not see the active stomatitis and, uh, and all that irritation at her vent, I would, I would not have known it was this bad. Okay, that's it for now. Almost a whole two minutes of snake. Right